guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be rehousing my OBT, the Terranoculus Murinus. I'm going to be rehousing her into this one here because it's top opening. I'm hoping to breed her down the line. So having a top opening enclosure will make it a lot easier when I send a male in. So I've got my cork part ready here. But I'm just going to start off first by putting a bit of my beastie mix into the enclosure. I'm just going to grab What's here. going on in my room? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is going on in here? Yeah, everyone, as you can tell, today I am in the beastie room with the one and only Dave's Little Beasties. Hello, guys. He's <laughs> collabing with me today and I'm going to be setting up this enclosure and he is going to be doing the fun part of actually dealing with the OBT. <laughs> so, should we set this up then, Dave? Yes, let's go for it. There's your soil. You You've got to have some good proper beastie mix. Yeah, first time ever using beastie mix. Everyone's going to be so jealous. <laughs> it's a sought after stuff. It is. Yeah. You're lucky that you've got. It's not cheap either. I did tell you, didn't I? <laughs> oh, I've got to pay by the scoop. Yeah. <laughs> That's you're, three. <laughs> you're lucky that you've got somewhere like this that you can Fair forage right. this sort of thing. Oh yeah, you've got to go out, got to go out, do your foraging, save yourself some money, more money to spend on spiders. Absolutely. Do you think? Or a little bit more. Yeah, whack some more in there. We've got plenty, we're all. So we're setting this OBT up in an arboreal setup. I know it's a debatable amongst people about whether they should be set up arboreal or terrestrial, but I've always set mine up arboreal and you're the same, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we've done we've done both, so they um they went either way. They're, they're, oh, good. Nice. they're good either way, to be fair. So, sh we've got this nice piece of cork bark here, which I chose it because it's got this nice little piece on the side, which I thought she might peek out of. So I'm going to set this flush at the back. Dave has very kindly just sawed it for me so that it fits perfectly to the back. There we go. That'll fit nice there, doesn't it? That's it. And I think we're going to add a bit of beastie moss as well, aren't we? Gee, she won everything, couldn't you? <laughs> here we go. We've got loads to choose from. We've got different sites, different types in here as well. I'll just rip a little bit off, shall I? Yep. Look at this, guys. You paid premium for this, wouldn't you? Dave's little beastie moss. <laughs> oh, this is nice stuff, though, isn't it? It's beautiful. So all I do is I just clean them off, cut them to size, and take all the little bits and pieces off you don't want. What do you want? Look at that. That looks really nice. And the orange spider will look so nice in contrast against the moss. That's it. Perfect. And we'll add a water bowl in at a later date when I get home. That looks great. I think we can probably do a water bowl if you like. Yeah? Um, cool, I'm going to come again. Let's have a look. Um, I'm in my little shop here. Gun as well. I'm have your hot glue gun. Do you know what? I've had a hot glue gun for about two years and I just never use it. I don't know why. Don't it's know. not difficult. I know. I just, I just <laughs> never got around to using it. And it looks so much better in our boil enclosure when you've got it glued up high. Well, we'll let that warm up. This is the one in here, is it? Yeah, she's just burrowed down the back. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm hoping she'll come out a bit more because she's been quite reclusive in that enclosure that she's in at the moment. Oh yeah, that looks nice. We can put that in there. We'll put our water bowl up there. Yeah, that'll fit just perfectly then. That transforms it, doesn't it? Mm. So I'm now behind the camera and we're going to watch the man at work. Let's see how well behaved this OBT is for you then, Dave, seeing as the spiders always seem to be uncharacteristically well behaved for you. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Right, we take it. Oh yeah, I can see a foot already. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do... We're going to get rid of all the stuff that's in the way. And then we'll go there. Is that cool? Yeah, that's a good view. 
Watch your fingers, as you say. Yeah, always be careful of your fingers. So what we've got to do... Oh, there she is. She's right at the bottom. Okay. Grown from a sling, this one. It's lovely, isn't it? It's nice when you grow them from a sling and then... Oi! Yeah. I saw that little threat pose. Yeah. And we've got two options now. Yeah. We can actually lift this out and walk her straight into the new one. Mm -hmm. Or we can box her. What do you think? I think we should walk her out. Are you going to risk it? Yeah. I think so. Are we feeling brave today? I don't know, Dave. This is why I gave the job to you. <laughs> I, did, I dealt with the moss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you dealt with the moss. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this water bowl in. I reckon we'll put that up here. So, when we've got our water. This is the beauty of the hot glue gun. If it's hot enough. We can... We can put it on and we can use it instantly. So when it's warm enough. And if you squeeze it in there, and then if we just give it a tab of water, that makes it safe. It sets it straight away. Yep. So your spider's not going to get stuck to it. Look at that. Which means we can go straight in and do what we need to do. The enclosure looks great. So we're going to unplug that. Right then, so what we're going to do now... Oh yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? Because we're back to a top opening one. So... Uh, we are going to try and move this now. Hopefully she still feels secure enough. Why don't we don't pull the bottom out? There we go. So we can what? not need to stress her out. Here we go. Come up here. There she is. Oh look, she's coming out for camera. You don't want her coming out too much. Uh, Beautiful. So what we want to do now is we want to give her somewhere to go so hopefully her feet will take contact with that and she don't run up the side of the bark. So we're going to just take her really gently. Look at that big abdomen. Yeah. We don't want to come in sideways. So we turn it. There we go. No stress. Beautiful. How about that? Gorgeous. Bearing in mind, once she gets started to web, she'll probably web all of this, mm -hmm. this moss branch up. But hopefully, because she's on that that half a cork, mm -hmm. most of it will be in here. And then what you can do, if she starts webbing the outside, if you break it down each day, she'll get bored with making it, and she'll concentrate being in there. And then you can keep the outside looking, looking nice. Looking nice, yeah, mm. nice and green. Because that is the thing with heavy webbers, if you put plants in or anything like that, they just kill it. Yeah, they hammer everything. Just as easy as that then, Dave. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, lovely job, see? What's the big deal about OBTs? Yeah. Everything in the beastie room, well behaved. <laughs> so guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, it went very, very smoothly because Mr. Dave's Beasties was doing the actual rehousing. As you can see, she's very happy in her new home and Dave professionally showed us all that dealing with an OBT isn't as bad as everyone says, is it? No, not at all. No, no. exactly. Very well behaved. I'm not going to lie, I was hoping that she was going to 
give you, you a bit of You was all waiting for a runner, wasn't you? That's what it was. I was hoping that I was going to prove everyone wrong and that all of the spiders aren't so calm when they're in this room, but they, they are, apparently. Yeah, we had a little whisper with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Head on over to Dave's channel because we've got another collab over on his channel that I think you will all definitely enjoy. <laughs> so that's it from us. And Don't forget. Be calm, be, be gentle, gentle, and, and love, love your, your spiders. spiders. <laughs> See you later, guys. Hello, guys. <laughs> that was good.